Let's read short stories with comprehension check for grade 4. Two frogs go to the big city. Two frogs live in a very small village. They always wanted to see the big city that was far away. They talk about their trip all the time. Finally, they set off to see the city. It is a hot day and they get tired quickly. They have only gone a little way when one says to the other, We must be nearly there. Can you see the city? No, says the other frog, but if I climb on your back, I might be able to see it. The frog hops on and looks away up. With his head tilted back, his eyes can only see what is behind them, not what is in front. He sees the village they just left. Can you see the city? Asks the frog who is below. Yes, answers the frog. I can see it. It looks just like our village. It's too hot to bother going to the city if it looks just like home, says the bottom frog. The frogs turn back and return to their village. They tell all the other frogs that they have seen the big city and it looks exactly like their own small village. Your turn to read, kids. Good job! This time, let's answer the questions from the story. 1. Where is this tale from? A. Africa B. China C. Japan You're right! The correct answer is C. Japan Number 2 why does the frog hop on the other frog's back? A. For a rest B. To look out for the city C. His feet hurt
You're right! The correct answer is B. To look out for the city. Number 3. Why is the frog looking the wrong way to see the city? A. With his head back, he sees only what is behind him. B. The bottom frog turned around. C. He is dizzy and mixed up. You're right! The correct answer is A. With his head back, he sees only what is behind him. Number 4. Why does the frog think that the city looks like their village? A. It's the village that the frog is looking at. B. It is a small city. C. The city was built at the same time as the village. You're right! The correct answer is A. It's the village that the frog is looking at. Number 5. Why do the frogs get tired so fast? A. It is very hilly. B. They run out of water. C. It is very hot. You're right! The correct answer is C. It is very hot. Number 6. Where did the frogs live? A. In a city. B. In a village. C. In a swamp. You're right! The correct answer is B. In a village. How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job. Let's now proceed to the next story. How Pussy Willows Came to Be A long time ago, a mother cat was crying at the bank of the river. Her kittens were drowning. They were chasing butterflies and fell into the river. The willow trees along the river wanted to help. They swept their long branches into the water. The kittens grabbed the branches and were carried to the shore. Each spring since then, the willow branches grow tiny furry buds at their tips where the kittens held on. Your turn to read, kids. One, why were the kittens in the river? A, they fell in while chasing butterflies. B, they wanted to swim to the other side. C, they wanted to eat the fish. You're right, the correct answer is a. They fell in while chasing butterflies. Number 2. According to this legend, why do pussy willows have tiny furry buds? A. The buds are like cats' noses. B. The buds are where the kittens hung on. 
See, so that kittens will play with them. You're right, the correct answer is B, the bots are where the kittens hang on. Number three, how were the kittens saved? A, a boy used a fishing net. B, they grabbed willow branches. C, it doesn't say in the story. You're right, the correct answer is B, they grabbed willow branches. Number four, why was the mother cat crying? A, she couldn't find a way to cross the river. B, her kittens were drowning. C, a fox grabbed her kittens. You're right, the correct answer is B, her kittens were drowning. Number five, who saved the kittens? A, a little boy. B, the mother cat. C, the willow trees. You're right, the correct answer is C, the willow trees. Number six, what kind of trees were by the river? A. Birch trees B. Pine trees C. Willows You're right, the correct answer is C. Willows How many scores did you get? Wow, that's a good job! Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button to be notified on our next episodes. Goodbye, kids!